Hey guys, it's Ghetto and Magneto, and I'm back. This time I'm playing SSX Tricky. Not Tricky, I mean the 2012 SSX game. It's fun. I haven't played much of it, but what I've played, it seems r rather good. So without further ado, let's begin. I have downloaded the Mount Eddy and the classic characters back. Each video I do in this will be consist of two trick events. This first one will be on Tokyo um, in Tokyo Mount Fuji, a trick event. So yeah, once it loads, we will begin. Connecting to RiderNet. Yeah, so I will do uh, in this video probably Mount Fuji and a pipeline, like the pipeline central in Alaska, and then go from there. On the next video, I will do just Mount Eddy because that is a long, long race. So, here we go. We're at the world. The tracks we can do, the areas we can do are New Zealand in New Zealand, Antarctica, Patagonia, South uh, America, Mount Eddy, which is in Northern America, North America, or it looks like part of Canada actually. The Rockies or Alaska. And then the Himalayas. Uh, Mount Everest, Africa, Mount Kilimanjaro, the Alps in Europe, and in Siberia, uh, there's also that race. However, because I'm playing on PS3, I also get one more, which is Mount Fuji in Japan. So here we go. Uh, Mount Fuji, here we go, there. Now we're going to do a trick event. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go here. The CPU, the computer, is hmm, 3 million 500 points. As you can see, here's all the retro characters. Uh, it starts with Retro Elise, goes to Simon, Zoe, Eddie, and Mac. My two favorite characters are regular Eddie in this and Mac. So for this one, I'll do Mac, and then for the next race, for the next trick, I'll do uh, Mac. Uh, Eddie. So let's start. As it loads, we can see we're going on 99 Assassins. If you don't know, this game is basically like, you go down a mountain, basically it's like snowboarding, but you get tricks, you can do tricks, uh, like more insane tricks, if you fall off your board during a trick, you don't die, so that's the difference between this and real life, because if you're doing an insane trick in real life, you'll, you'll get seriously injured, these guys just walk it off because they're boss. And so, there's nine deadly descents you have to conquer in this game. And they just walked it off. They're like, what up? I'm done. Okay, here we go. First one, Tokyo. R2 to speed. Oh, what up? Here we go. Gorge. Boom. It jumped right over that. Another gorge. Up oh, here comes a bridge. You can also grind on this. There's been a craze about Skate 3 lately on YouTube. I'm like, no, I'm not that. I'm not a big fan of Skate 3, so I'm gonna go to a, basically a board game I love, which is SSX. I've been a huge fan of, fan of it ever since the PS2. So I was like, hmm, let's just load it up and go. I'm not doing very good, as you can see, people, the CPU is beating me badly. 
like usual, I'm not very good at video games. I just play them for fun and for you guys. Oh, let's see. You can also rewind if you mess up a trick. Okay, give it another go. That takes away points, ends your combo, and it slows you down. However, it helps in uh, certain vibe events, which are the like avalanches. Oh, look at that. Transfer it from jump to grind. I'm not going to do very good because, like I said, I'm not the best SSX. I've seen people get over 10 million on this map. On some maps, I've seen people get over 25 million easily. I'm not that type of person. I'm not. And they play day in and day out. I'm not that. I don't do that. Oh, fell in the gorge. Let's just take it back. Slow down here. And catch that ground. If you get enough points up, you can build tricky mode, which allows you to uh, get unlimited boost. You get boost by normally doing tricks. Like that meter on the bottom will fill up. Here goes my last rewind. Land straight on the line. Oh, shifty tweet. I earned the bronze medal. Alright, I beat the bronze, so at least we will get a medal. Alright, let's rewind again. Do the fact that I broke a player. I can rewind. So yeah, let's do that. But this time, let's defy gravity and go up on the roof. Oh god, we're doing loops. This is not a roller coaster. Here we go, dun, 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 dun. Oh, silver, I'm catching up here. Oh, trick it. I am the bronze, and I finished the race. The trick, the event. I won bronze. I got a total of 5,000 in-game points. Plus, I got a trophy, Uberlicious. These points allow you to buy in-game items, such as clothing, boards, for your characters, also power-ups, and in the multiplayer, you you don't play with your friends, you go on a mountain, set up an event, like see as I just unlocked the trophy, it's called I Am A Ghost, you set a ghost on it, and your friends try to beat your score, they don't, uh, you don't go head to head in the same race. But, you set a ghost, say, today, I set this ghost, if one of my friends come on tomorrow, they can race this ghost. So, we just finished this race, now let's go to, uh, Mount Eddie, uh, not Mount Eddie, excuse me, let's go to Alaska, Alaska, uh, Silverthorn, Deadly Descent, this is, Nolly is the un- Deniably break, breathtaking, but the mountain hides a more sinister side, highly unstable, unstable terrain, and tremendous avalanche danger. So in this game, there are deadly descents. Alaska is obviously an avalanche that happens. Other places are lack of oxygen, uh, ice, uh, hypothermia, and... Uh... What is it? And rocks. And uh, darkness. So in like Africa, you go to. You go inside of a, mount, a volcano and it's completely dark. So as you saw there, I chose Eddie. Like I said earlier, I was going to do. This is the final trick event for this episode. So I hope you enjoy. As we see here, uh, there's, I believe that is, uh, I don't know that guy's name actually, I thought it was Simon, but I just realized that's not. <laughs> Oops. So yeah, as we continue on, 
some items are rare and will have perks that provide bonuses for other gear. And that's what you can use your points, uh, in-game points for. I bought this game you can buy now on the PlayStation Store for $30. And the Mount Eddie DLC and Eddie are a total of $5. So you can buy both of them. For, you can spend about $35 to get a fun game and some cool characters. Okay. This uh, map is all about grinding. So here's the tricky mode I was talking about. It unlocks tricky. If you get a fire enough points in this mode, the whole screen will uh, change. Like it's flashing now, so I have to. So I just unlock tricky mode. My whole player turned orange. Now every point I do, uh, I'm like that. If you fail, you lose your combo, however, if you, you can rewind to regain it. By holding L2 and R2 during a trick, uh, during in tricky mode, you can boost uh, your score by doing a signature move, which is what I did back then. Now we're out of tricky mode, we're in third place. And we're still going strong. We have a million. I'm trying to get second place, get one better than my. I'm in second place, here we go. And here's the finish line. Thank you. And that was the end of the Alaskan pipeline. Thank you for watching. Please hit that uh, like button. Comment if you want to see uh, more of this. Share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and have a good day.